me and grandma we was in the kitchen at the sink we about to uh clean some peanuts or whatever because i'm gonna get ready to make some peanuts and i was gonna do this a separate video but it ain't gonna be that long to even try to make it a separate video so i'm just gonna put it all together y'all gonna get the morning video from me being out there in the car showing y'all you know little stuff that i put in the car and stuff like that oh yeah and just to let you know um i looked it up to see if i was able to because I was going to send the set back because of the steering wheel cover was the only thing that was um, I was able to use except for the other two pieces. But, um, I, and it said that in order for you to get those pieces, you have to order as a three-piece set. That's the only way I've seen it. I haven't seen it as a, as a single. So, if y'all want it, just to let you know, if you if your um, gear shift is in sh shaped a certain way, it must be round so it can fit on there. If your gear shift ain't cer shaped that certain type of way, it ain't going to fit. And if you don't have the emergency brake that you pull up, then, and then you ain't going to be able to use that little sleeve that go on there too. So, Y'all done seen all of that, so now me and Grandma about to clean some peanuts. I'm about to show y'all how I make my peanuts. Now, this might be in different days because y'all know it take a while for peanuts to cook. So when I do my peanuts, I cook them in the crock pot. And so I'm going to, I'm not, I'm probably not going to add all this. I don't know. I'm going to see. We just going to go with the flow and y'all just watch and see how I make my homemade delicious peanuts that me and my grandma going to be eating. Part my husband too. Yeah, he eat peanuts. But it wasn't a big bag. So I seen that bag. It was only like $5 and something for um a gallon size Ziploc bag. Honey, I jumped on it real quick. So yeah, that's what we about to get ready to do. I'm going to show y'all step by step how I do that. So right now, only thing I did was I dumped the green peanuts in the sink. And I put some salt on it just in case it's a worm on it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just go through them, pick out the bad ones. And um, that's it. Just pick out the bad ones, take some stems off, and that's it. And that's how you clean the peanuts just to make sure the worms and get all the dirt and leaves and all that stuff up off of before you actually put it in your crock pot to be cooking them. And you cook and you're going to be cooking some dirty peanuts if you don't do it on doing that all right so y'all just watch what we got going on
try to see. Okay, so this is the brown ones and the, some stems. And then this the, this the clean the ones. I got to rinse them off one more time. And look at that water. If you don't rinse, rinse them off, y'all see all that dirt? Nasty. You have that in your peanuts, all right? So wash your peanuts. All right, y'all. So now I'm about to put the peanuts in the crock pot. I've washed them and rinsed them and washed them and rinsed them over and over. So now we're about to get them over in the crock pot. But I'm going to tell you this. When you're doing peanuts, make sure that you're not trying to cook dry roasted peanuts because they're not going to cook. You need to do some green peanuts. Make sure they say green peanuts. So what I like to put in my um, peanuts is smoked turkey tails. I like smoked turkey tail. So I got some smoked turkey. I got one smoked turkey tail, turkey neck. And that's what I'm adding into the crock pot. Then I'm gonna add me some chicken base seasoning. And that's gonna be some flavor, you know, like a chicken broth. So, you know, for the peanuts or whatever. While they cooking. And okay. So I'm gonna get that down in now. Just get you a good amount of it. And then Another thing that I want is some onion. So I got me some minced onion. So I'm going to add some minced onion to these. Too. You can add some red pepper or some cayenne pepper if that's what you want to do to make it spicy. But I'm not. So what I'm going to be adding is some Tony's Creole seasoning. And I'm going to go in lightly with some season with a little seasoning. Not too much because... Bang! Okay, so... I put the Tony's Creole seasoning in there. That's going to give me all the seasonings that I need. And plus, it's going to give me some heat because y'all know that Tony's is a little spicy. So, now I'm going to add my peanuts in here. And then we're going to add our water. And you got to just let this cook. I'm telling you, this take hours and hours and hours. I'm talking about days like not today, tomorrow kind of hours. You know, so you're going to have to let this cook for some hours in the crock pot. So, I'm going to let mine cook on low because I don't want my meat to you know cook faster than my um peanuts because by the time it's done i do at least want the meat um to eat with my peanuts or whatever but the thing about it is the reason why i add the smoked meat to it not just to have some meat i add the smoked meat just for that smoke flavor that is going to add to these peanuts so that's why i do that y'all all right so let's see I only got a little bit more of this here seasoning. And um, just to let y'all know, peanuts, they take a lot of seasoning too. So, don't try to season them until they start getting tender for real, for real. Just add your little seasonings in there and then just go on about your business. And then as they start getting tender the next day, you can come back and taste them to see if you need to add you any more seasonings to the to the water that they in. And you know by adding the, adding the seasoning to the water and the, and the peanuts done got tender, they're going to soak up that salt flavor, okay? So don't worry about under over seasoning at, the, at this point. You know, trying to do the most with them. Just give them a little seasoning. Something to cook in that way they're not just cooking they're just plain bland water and then you just gonna let them just cook overnight all right and just to know how long to take to cook them i can't tell you how long to take to cook these peanuts you're gonna have to get in there and taste you one and until they get to the doneness that you like all right all right then so i will see y'all tomorrow okay i forgot to tell y'all so now i'm gonna add my water and just rinsing these the seasoning that I got on these peanuts right down in there. And basically I'm just putting enough water to come all the way up to them because you ain't gonna cover them because they're gonna float. See how they floating? So don't worry about trying to cover them. Just make sure you got enough water in there. And then just put your lid on there, set it on low or high, however you want to do it. Depends on how fast you want it to cook. And if you don't want to add all the seasons that I added, you could just add you some salt to them and that's it. But I add all that to it because I like that flavor from that liquor, you know, that it's going to create. You know, the liquor is the juice. All right. So now I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. As y'all can see, this is day two for the peanuts. So we got to check on them. And I can already tell that they have started turning brown like a peanut would. So that's a good sign there. That means that it's fully soaked with the liquid. I'm going to give one to taste, y'all, to see if it's seasoned, which I could tell by the way that it smells. 
it's not all the way seasoned, which that's what I wasn't going for at the time. I just look at that. Okay, so they're tender, but definitely not seasoned, y'all. So now <clears throat> I told y'all I'm gonna take a look at her. I'm about to add some salt. <clears throat> gonna add some chicken some more chicken based seasoning because I didn't add a lot like I said I knew I was gonna come back and season the peanuts so I didn't want to over season them yesterday you know when they wasn't even gonna soak up none of those seasonings at the time let's put a little pepper in here so you season them up However, <coughs> however you want to season them up, I think go for a little complete seasoning. You're going to season these just like you season some meat, y'all. That's how you're going to season your peanuts. So I got that little bit of seasoning. So I'm going to stir this up and I'm going to let that sit. Then I'm going to come back and taste it to see if it need any more. Y'all see the meat down in there? Look at the meat. But, hold on. Let me add just a little bit of... I'm going to add some sloppy mom with a hot one, y'all. I'm going to add a little bit of that. Because I, like, I want just a little kick. That's a little bit for all those peanuts. I mean, my meat is tearing up down in there, but it's all right. So, I'm going to taste this bro. Mmm, tasty. Okay. Ooh. And it got a little kick, y'all. Okay, so now we're going to let them peanuts sit right there in that broth and just soak up all that flavor. But they done. We just want them to soak up the flavor. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn them off. You ain't got to cook them no more further because as long as they sit in that liquid, they're going to soak up the flavor. But that's how I do my peanuts, y'all. So I'll just come back whenever I get ready to put some in a bowl or something like that and just take a picture and show y'all what it look like. So if y'all try my peanuts, let me know. Leave a comment down below and let me know. And if you're wondering, I say complete seasoning is the other one I added to it. Complete seasoning, some more chicken based seasoning, and some of this right here. Slap your mama. The spicy one. Alright. So, I'll see y'all in the next clip. Peace, love, men, and voices to each and every... No, it ain't no next clip. It's just going to be pictures. But peace, love, men, and voices to each and every one of you guys. And until next time, I'll see y'all in another video. 